Buenos dias, artistas. Good day, artists. Today, we are going to be making a shape landscape. Today, you will need your background from last week, a thin piece of white paper, four small colored papers, a pencil, scissors, and a glue stick. Let's begin by practicing drawing our shapes. We are going to start by practicing a circle. Watch me draw it, and now I would like you to try to draw a circle on your paper. Now let's try a triangle. I start at the top. It has three straight sides and connects up at the top again. Now you try to draw a triangle with three sides on your paper. Now let's try a square. Notice how I start with the letter L. The top goes straight across, and then I connect the two sides. We want all four sides to be the same length. Can you draw a square now? Now let's try a rectangle. A rectangle is made just like a square, except two of the sides are longer than the other two. Now you try to draw the rectangle on your paper. And now for a challenge shape. Let's try to draw a diamond. Notice I start at the top and it has four straight sides. Did you know another name for a diamond is a rhombus? You give it a try. Now let's take a look at how artists use shapes in their artwork. Today we will look at three Hispanic artists that use shapes in their artwork. Let's look at some artwork by Diego Rivera, a famous artist from Mexico. What shapes can you see in this artwork? I see a lot of hidden triangles in this painting. What about this painting? I see some hidden shapes. Can you find them? Johan Miró was also a Spanish-speaking artist from Spain. Take a look at some of the shapes that he used. The shapes look like they make little critters and plants. This one is called the garden. Why do you think he named it that? Look at this huge sculpture in Spain by Miró. Pablo Picasso was also born in Spain, one of the most famous artists to ever live. Picasso loved to paint portraits of people. What shapes can you see in these portraits? Now it's your turn to make a design out of shapes. First, we will have to cut out some shapes using our colored paper. You could draw your shapes using pencil and then cut them out. Or you can just start snipping with your scissors and see what shapes you can make. Make sure you're holding the scissors with the small hole on top with your thumb in it and the big hole on bottom with your fingers in it. The blue paper, I cut out three rectangles. With the brown paper, I'm going to cut out a circle. Keep cutting out all different shapes using the four small colored paper. You're going to want different sizes of shapes in all different colors. So I also made two triangles, a square, and a rectangle with the brown paper. Now I'm going to try to cut out a diamond with the black paper. So I draw the shape first and then cut it out using my scissors. I also cut out some different odd shapes with the black paper and I set them all to the side. Now you are going to need your background from last week. Start laying out a design of shapes onto your background. 
You can stack the shapes on top of each other, overlap one with another, or spread them out all over your paper. Move them around until you make a nice, beautiful design that you like. Play with your shapes by moving them around and see if you can form them into the shape of anything. Do mine look like people? Buildings? What does it look like to you? You don't have to use all of them, just the ones that you want to. Once you find a design that you like, you're going to glue it down onto your background. Notice how I put the glue stick all over one side, then flip it over and press it down. Do this with each piece. Make sure you get glue around the outside edges, then flip it over and press down each piece. Watch again, I put the glue all over one side, then flip it over and press it down. Repeat with each shape that you're going to use. And here's how my shape landscape turned out. I can't wait to see how yours looks when you finish it.